On today's episode of Junk Wax Genius, two more packs of Junk Wax era baseball cards. Today, uh, two from 1991. We've got 1991 Fleer Ultra, 14 cards, one sticker. And 1991 Score Series 1. Uh, grateful that they had the kindness to break 1991 Score into two series. I can't remember offhand how many cards are in the full series, but it is a lot. And uh, when you know who's in Series 1 and who's in Series 2, you can make your choice, be educated, have a better chance of getting that guy or that, that team or whatever. Also in Series 2, there's the uh, Purple Rappers Chase the Mantle. That's not this. Let's do the 91 Fleer Ultra. The first year for this product, Fleer's attempt to go a little upscale, a little fancy. We did some Fleer Ultra yesterday. So here's the sticker, and here's my problem with the sticker. It looks fancy because it's got silver around it, but the silver is really only around the actual sticker part. It's not on, like there's nothing about the actual team logo sticker. It's like it's foil, but the logo sticker itself, there's nothing fancy about it. So kind of disappointing with that execution. I wish there could have been like some silver incorporated into the logo itself. More silver in the, uh, the kind of the metallic full bleed borders across the top and bottom of 1991 Fleer Ultra. Maybe Fleer thought they were really doing it when they when they came up with this design. And then they saw what Stadium Club did in 1991 and were like, oh. But you get the full bleed photo, which is cool. Um, Fleer sacrifices stats on the back in favor of photos of the player. You have kind of this diamond a headshot, a couple action shots, and then instead of Fleer giving much more detailed stats, you just get like the most recent year and their major league totals. So not my not my favorite. And I think 92, 93 Fleer Ultra really got better. Here's Robbie Thompson, Chuck Knobloch, rookie card, Leo Gomez, Tony Gwynn, Randy Johnson, nice, and Will Clark. What a run. A couple of Hall of Famers, my PC guy, Will Clark. Daryl Strawberry, Steve Decker, Brian Harvey, Cousin Terry Pendleton, Jimmy Key, Andy Hawkins, Brian Smith, and Chuck Krim. Well, we, I, I couldn't have asked for a much better pack of 91 Fleer Ultra. We got Tony Gwynn. We got the big unit, Randy Johnson. And we got my PC guy, Will the Thrill Clark. Pretty happy with that poll. Let's see what we can get out of the 1991 score. Very colorful. There's a Magic Motion trivia card in here, I think. Yep. It's a waste of time. And if I knew how to do sound effects for these things, I would, um, well, I'll, I'll flip it off camera and you can imagine the sound of breaking glass. There's Todd Burns, Sean Bosky, Dave Hollins, Kent Merker, Tim Tuffle, Nice horizontal layout there for Rance Mullenix. Bo Allred, rookie prospect. Luis Soho. Steve Jeltz. Kevin Apier. 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 Mike Hartley. Rob Deere. Here's our trivia card. Imagine the sound of breaking glass. Mitch Williams. Mike Heath. Greg Hibbard. And Don Paul. So a bunch of nothing in 1991. Score Series 1. Got to say, though, we uh, we got some good hits. Big unit, Tony Gwynn, Will Clark in our 91 Fleer Ultra. If you are watching Junk Wax Genius, come back tomorrow for two more packs from the Junk Wax era. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, and hopefully we made a friend. Talk to you soon.